Spider Mansion. <gasps> Don't worry. Ah, oh, he's armored. Okay, fine. Dodge that. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like when you're playing Dark Souls and use yeah. a freaking great soul arrow. It's like you think you can stop me. Dodge Red this. PC, bitch. Ugh, so much loud noises. <clears throat> oh yeah. I like the first Matrix movie. Like it I, I think it's one of the seminal action films of its time. <clears throat> okay. I, do, I do not like when Trinity says dodge this before shooting Agent Smith. It's really dumb. And then like uh, <laughs> I I don't think that part's goofy. Cause he's like, you know, this incredibly <laughs> he's this incredibly um advanced quick-witted agent capable of um no oh no you know, the matrix is his it's his it's his turf oh he out. knows the ins and outs he he's incredibly incredibly capable but one thing that he doesn't have is immunity to, to, to uh, dramatic timing exactly y'all gotta have our Achilles heel somewhere he was shot in the head by the plot <laughs> The writers shot him in the head. And there's... The Wachowski brothers just put his finger out and was like, bang. And that was the end of him for the first movie. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I guess it was just one agent, because it's like a... A self... No. Nope. Die. Wow, spiky boy. Last one. Where is he? Where's Scarecrow? He's probably in the... Area... Again. Okay, here to over here. Where is it? It's over here. Oh. There the boy. There we go. We did it! The curse is... what curse? It's just a curse in the house, this one. The curse of you being here. Is Pretty now much. lifted, because you can leave. Let's hope it... Okay, hopefully. Hopefully. I st did it, or hopefully he'll give this guy will give me it. Give, because he wants to live in this house. Oh, he. <laughs> you fumigated. Damn, really? Yeah. He's like, hey, hey, the spiders are gone. I can move back in now. I mean, that's not actually the case. Oh. He just like. He just comes in. He's like, hey. He actually wants to use it as a bomb, as a fallout shelter for the moon falling. Come and check it out. This place is this an underground shelter. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not for free, of course. Hope this will do. Yes! Giant All right. <clears throat> Up to 500 rupees. I'll be needing it much longer anyway. That's, uh, you get... for once, actually pretty interesting. Yep. I oh, mean, oh, oh, <laughs> not to that. say that. that... Look at that sunset. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Not to say that this game isn't interesting, but it's, like, interesting with a lot of quotation marks sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And now we get to go talk to uh, Anju, Anju, Anju. Butt wings. Yes, butt wings. When they come out of the butt, it's magical. South Clock Town contains an angelic spirit. Hey, hell oh, yeah. Stuffed up in there. Uh, oh wait, what? 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 That's what I thought. What? <laughs> um, something was I was going to say. I forgot. Oh yeah, and here's the guy where we stole the the key from, technically. <laughs> the wind has gone damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro. He doesn't talk to me yet. I feel kind of bad about it, just stealing this guy's key, his room. It's time travel, don't worry about it. But it makes it easier for me to just be able to come in, so I'm going to come up top like, with the deck of flower and get mm -hmm. in there. Oh yeah, I guess I can show you the, the granny, I think, or not. Poise only, no... Exception. Exception. No substitution. Which just a poop. Give it the money. Gotta get the cash. Gotta get the <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. And we'll go down to the kitchen right away and just, uh... Just oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Whoa, 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 what? What's that? What's that, uh... That triangular thing above the T-joint here behind you? It's a big smiley. <laughs> oh yeah, funny thing too. <laughs> I, I think you'll get, get a kick out of this. 
you come over here, mm -hmm. and you see the uh, or is it? You see them boxer shorts right there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a close little look here. They have fungus in them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> STDs and termina. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> We're we're a bottle people. <laughs> I mean these these bottles are pretty amazing, considering they can just you know. Oh, I wonder <clears> if this guy's gonna pop, gonna pop up. No, not yet. Okay. That's a that's a shitter. Yeah, and there's also a guy in there. He'll pop up and be like, "Paper," and if you give him paper, you get a piece of heart. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna chill right here and uh. <clears throat> uh, do, do, do. I wonder if the rumble pack actually even works. Mm. We haven't had anything that rumbles yet, so I can't tell. Man, this <laughs> this little like stream that runs through everything is cool as hell, but super impractical. That's just like a a Frank Lloyd Wright thing. <clears throat> you know Frank Lloyd Wright, the great architect. He, like he has all of these incredible buildings, but all of them has a fatal flaw. Like, there's a, a really, really incredible, like, I think it's like a communal living space or a design for a museum or something, and it just, it leaks. <laughs> it leaks. Like, it's incredibly beautiful. It looks great, but it just leaks. <clears throat> the other thing is that uh, he, <clears throat> he always brings, like, like, he brings all of the furnishings. So if you if you were to like place a laptop computer somewhere, it would flow off or throw off the zen of everything because he has it all just so. And don't even think about bringing an extra furniture. Look at that two D onion. Two D onion. Two D onion. Oh, that one right there. Sliced super thin. Oh, these onions. These are onions. Nice weave. You talking about that right there? Yeah. It's not. It's not really thin. It's, it's always facing us, always. <laughs> oh, it's just sentient, you mean? Yeah, see it. It's like okay. It's always facing the camera. I love when games do that. It's, it's a cheap thing to do, but it's effective. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, wait, wait another, here for another three hours. <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> did you play the uh, Jedi Knight or Jedi Academy games? I never did. Because that's uh. That's like post Quake, three D <laughs> shooter, and you can do third person. <clears throat> but I always thought it was interesting. One of these times when I went and looked around in the graphics options, and you can, <clears throat> oh hello, <laughs> you can set uh, all pickups to be two D sprites that rotate like that, just to save like operating space. I guess interesting stuff. I'm going to honk. Give me a second. Gonna, yeah, well, we still got a while to wait. There's nothing more we can do right now besides just wait for this. And that's <sighs> it. <laughs> I'm honking. Uh, and I'm relaxing. We got another hour to wait. We oh. literally have to wait for her to be here to talk to. Him. Like, as she's walking, she would be like, please wait till we get to the kitchen. <laughs> if she's standing right here, please wait till we get to the kitchen. Yeah. She stands right here when she actually stops. Then she talks. All right, now it's safe. <clears throat> I wish you could, uh, like, roll into the cutlery and cause the plates to fall. I know, I just, that's why I tried it. Yeah, and then a chef comes in and complains at you. <laughs> Truffle shuffle. <laughs> I don't know if I need, need this equipped or not. Oh, yeah, and I... I know it's like really sad, but I never showed it to you. It actually cries. <laughs> Wait, I forget. What's what's the deal with that mask? I mean, I I think I know who it comes from, but it's like what the third brother that. Yeah, he went to, went on to become a traveling circus guy. Yeah. What's the mask used for, though? You know, during the milk chase. Uh huh. You can use that, and they won't fire at you. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't fire at my own brother. Just, 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 just here in the kitchen, trying to get my dick sucked. 
<laughs> just here in the kitchen on the first at 11, p- 11 p.m. the thir- first day. <laughs> Trying to get my my Deku nuts wet. Hey. I am sorry for being late at night. It's about him, Kefi. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. To me. Please. Here's my letter. Please put it this in a po- post box. When this is delivered, when he receives the letter, you should be able to meet him. Ah. Oh. Tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I can't. I can't go. Of course. Ye. Yeah. I will. I will do this for you. So wow. you can live your Shotokan fantasies. Oh. And once oh. again, it's just gonna be me waiting. <laughs> There's like. This quest takes forever in that in that aspect. It just takes forever to do. Yeah, if only if only playing songs took time so you could just shred while you wait. No, but it stops time, unfortunately. Yeah. That guy's really loud. Is snoring. Oh. Uh... Wow, all, that sidebar is for this is entirely for this quest, huh? No, uh, sorta. Of, yeah. Sheesh. Oops, I forgot. I gotta check the mailbox first. Deposit mail here. Now you take that. Put it in there. Shall be delivered tomorrow. Oh yeah, and also you can't uh you can't like stop the bomb lady or like stop the thief. Hmm. Or else it'll ruin the entire quest. You know, for that steals like the bomb bag from the lady. Uh-huh. You can't yeah, you have to let him steal it, then Go back, because uh, I'll just show you. The, the shop's open anyway, and we have to wait. I can fast forward till tomorrow day, or yeah, tomorrow morning. But we still have to wait till it's night or afternoon to actually do something. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm trying to explain it while also trying to to play the game. I'm bad at that. That's. I don't <laughs> think many people are good at that. So Some people it. are. The big YouTubers are. Yeah. I can do that again. I think they give you money. But basically, the curiosity shop right here. It's only uh-huh. only open at night. What's up? Come in. Tonight, <laughs> I got nothing to sell. I kid you not. Can I buy something? You never know what's going to come through that door. I don't even Look have anything dude. to sell them. No, I don't have anything to sell them, really. Just Thanks. Aviators exist. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but the thief guy will come over, come here and sell it to, or sell him the bomb bag. So many lovable characters. On uh, they're also oh. hateable. Yeah, sell him, sell him the bomb bag on the night of the second day. Mm. And then on the dawn of the third day, we'll have to uh, go to Kathy's place. I think his little place that he he chills at. Oh mm-hmm. uh, no, never mind. I want to see because uh, I don't know if I have to buy bomb shoes from them or if I have to buy a bomb bag. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, God. I just now noticed that man's wearing a fucking leotard. <sighs> I don't know there how to go. feel about that. Now I got bomb shoes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look at, look at that ass. Look, mm-hmm. I, I think that he's wearing leggings, but it doesn't make it better. Mm-hmm. Take it. No, he's not. Take a picture of that. He's full on. Oh, maybe he is, actually. Yeah, yeah he is. there's a slight difference in tone, but still just... Well, you know what it is? I bet that it because it's... No, you know what? I can see it. He's when just... I look just a little bit, there is actually a place where the vest stops and the pants begin. That makes me more comfortable. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he, you know, just wearing latex feels right for him. Everybody in this fucking town. <laughs> I am this fucking town. <laughs> I still can't go high. Ugh, the lag though. The He's N64. Jacks in that. He's like swatting everything away. He's like, no, go away. A dab in time. 
Uh, well, yep. Okay. No. Okay. Go back. Please. Please. What? I need you to see something. What? Look from right there. Between... Yeah, switch back to, the, the, to your last view. Far right, there's a dancing man with a Pac-Man head. Wait, what? It's just a design on the wall. Oh, I see now. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he getting it on. He is. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger. Defying the laws, laws of gravity. gravity. Racing car. Passing by like Lady Gattava. I do not know the lyrics to this song. Gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. Burning through the sky, yeah. yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Traveling at the speed of light. I'm gonna make a supersonic man out of you. Hey, hey, hey. I love this song. That's my yeah. favorite Queen song. I honestly am not sure if I have a favorite Queen song. I just, I have. <coughs> I just recently found out, found out that they actually had a, a freaking Christmas song. Oh, yeah, what's that? It's. Uh, it's something like, thank you, thank God it's Christmas, something like that. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> We're literally just gonna go over here and wait till freaking 2 p.m. There should be like a, a Groundhog Day kind of thing where that. That guy, Bramore, falls off and has, like, a construction accident <laughs> that you can't stop every single time. You never thanked me! <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah. Uh, I know, like, the book, though. Like, he lived the equivalent of 10,000 years in that one town. I never knew there was a book. Yeah, there's an actual book for it. That's how long it took. Is it a novelization of the movie, or is it... It was an actual... It was a book first, then it was a movie. Okay. So now we're gonna sit here and probably talk about it, or just skip... Skip it, it depends. <laughs> this is a place I could hang out. <laughs> but yeah, Groundhog Day. It, imagine that, 10,000 years. I, I, I'm i probably wrong. It's either, it's either a 1,000 or 10,000. It's one of the two. One multiple of, of that, but still. I mean, be, because it's like, it's kind of supposed to be like an allegory for reaching Nirvana, I could see either one. Because, you, you, like, I'm not incredibly spiritual, but I think that with the idea of reincarnation and reaching nirvana, it, it could very well take a single person that much time to achieve a point where they're at their perfect self. I don't know. I'm always curious, though, how many crimes he actually did commit. Oh, too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, know, I know he killed himself multiple times. Yeah. But I wonder how, like... I wonder if he did like all the bad crimes, like maybe he did cannibalism, murder. I I necrophilia. I like to think that there was a lot of stuff left off screen for good reason. <laughs> I mean, you're living in a no consequence time time at the moment, so you can do whatever you wanted. And well, I mean, it's gonna stick with you, but well, I mean, after a while, you probably forgot. You probably forgot a lot of things. Hmm. It's quite possible. Yeah, that would be, uh, be hell, though. It, Reliving the same day over and over again? Well, that's the thing, is that that's kind of the point of the movie, of the thought experiment. It's hell until you make it heaven. And once he made it heaven, he was allowed to to, give, to go, get on with his life. Because that's how he would live for the rest of his life, because there's no point to not. He found happiness. Yeah, but then imagine that, though, after after living, reliving that day, having to go back to normal normal days. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I think that the idea is that he's gotten so far as a person that it doesn't matter where he is, that's how he's going to act, because he's found the right way to be himself. Hmm. I think that's kind of the moral of the story. I I had a, an old friend who moved away who, that was his favorite movie, and it's, you know, there is a lot to think about in it. It's quite a film. Yeah. Cat shit while I was talking about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at least learned a lot, learned a lot of new skills. Yeah, <laughs> ice carving. <laughs> My favorite thing in, is the piano teacher, though. 
Oh, I don't quite remember that. Does he like teach her at the end? He gives her, he gives her two thousand dollars every oh, single day just that, to learn learn how to play the piano. That's good. I forgot about that. And the final day when he actually reaches Nirvana, as you say, he's like, "Thank you." Yeah. I can imagine that, like going in there being like, being all badass <laughs> and about it. Like, yeah, it's like, you're a natural. <laughs> She's like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> okay." <laughs> I'm gonna honk again. I don't know. We still got time. We still got a little bit longer to wait. I don't know. Anything else you want to talk about? Or I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't know. What'd you get for Christmas? Clothes and some money. <laughs> I got clothes. Um. I think I got clothes. I got one cl <laughs> one clo cloth cloth. One cloth. <laughs> and um, I should mention we we're recording this like one day after Christmas. So when this by the time this gets to this part, it'll probably be not relevant at all. Hey, let's date ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I got uh, I think Chung 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 Shun or Chang Chung Sun. A uh, set of. Knives and a nice acacia knife block and um, <laughs> cheese. <laughs> cheese. Three kinds of cheeses. It's kind of something I get every every single holiday. I don't eat nearly as much cheese as I used to because I was a cheese fiend, but I do appreciate a good cheese. Uh, my I just mom... noticed how the camera slowly zoomed in on him. Yeah. <laughs> Cinematic mood. No, I have to do a... Oh, what? I can turn the map off? What? <laughs> Okay. Every day is a school day. 